Yeah, what's up YouTube? Back in with another video today, and in this one we're just going to be fitting one of these reversing um, sensor kits uh, to my daughter's Toyota Yaris. Um, it didn't come with, obviously, reversing sensors, and she's a new driver, so we're going to help her out with this little kit. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. It's available on Amazon. Now, what you'll find with these kits is the instruction that you get with it can we see that it's not brilliant so but they are pretty easy to fit you're gonna get everything in the box so we've got like this little display here I'll show you it all when it's all rigged up anyway but we'll go through the process of what you're gonna need and how you do it uh, like I said it's pretty simple you get the little sensors here there's four of them that we're gonna um, drill holes in the rear bumper and get that fitted then there's like the connection box which again is all self-explanatory it's pretty easy to do like i said and um you get your little sticky pads to put your little sensor somewhere on the dashboard so we can get a visual cues to when we're too close to the car in behind uh, you also get the little well the exact size it's like a little drill piece here that you um you get that with it as well and that will make the holes the exact size for these sensors so like i said it's pretty straightforward but the manual or the little piece of paper they give with you it's not brilliant so we'll just talk you through it um and you are going to need some sort of drill to do the holes so okay we'll be back in a tick right folks so we're at the back of the car and we're gonna put the sensors like one here one here and the same on the other side as well so i've got the fitment fitted into my drill and we're going to make them incisions right now all right so we've got the first holes done there we've got one just on the near the edge of the bumper on the left hand side and then we've got one just a few inches away from the um the number plate area so that's going to give us like a good distance and we're just going to get a little bit of the side covered as well uh, when she's reversing so i'm going to put like i said i've left one there and we'll show you how you do these holes now on the other side i've got the drill in place here and it's just a question of doing this you do the pilot hole first And there we go we've got the holes ready simple as that it's literally probably takes about half an hour to do the whole job anyway we're going to go on to the next stage now so here we go we've got the individual sensors here and as you'll see all we need to do is feed this cable through nice and simple So we've got each parking center uh, sensor fitted and as you can see they're all poking out of each hole and what you've got to remember is they have got an up and a down here um, and they are usually coded up or down as we can see there and it's just a case of popping them into place so we'll do that on all four of them and get back to you. Yeah, right, folks. So we've got them all in place now on the car. And then we've got the four cables that we're going to have to feed into the boot area. So if you look in your boot, take your wheel well out. There'll be somewhere where you've got these like little rubber grommets. And if we pull one out, you can see straight through to the road. So what we want to do is put a hole through the rubber and then feed all the cables through the hole and then we're into this area. So that'll be the next stage. So if you look at the uh, hole from the bottom of the car, here's our cables. We're going to feed them in neatly 
keep it underneath the trim until we get to this spot and then we're just going to put them all through nice and easy won't take a minute all I've got to do now is I've got all the cables here just pull them all through into the boot area make sure you've got all four and then we can thread them through the little hole we've made in the rubber grommet and um, yeah okay so we'll do that now nice and quick okay so we've got all the rubber grommet uh, sorry all the cables through the rubber grommet that's back in place and that's the next step done so all we need to do now is get the the little box that comes with it the controller box and we'll get everything plugged into that as you can see here we've got the controller box it comes with the power cable as well obviously that we're going to rig this bit up to the reversing light cluster or the reversing light positive and negative and um, so it only works obviously when you you click a reverse gear the power goes to your reverse light starts this up and then obviously you can understand what happens next so it comes with a double-sided sticky tape to stick on the bottom of here and then we're going to find a nice area for this to sit in the boot quite near to where it's going to be plugged into the reversing um light power so um, we're going to put it on the left hand side on this uh, Toyota Yaris and I'll assume I haven't checked yet but I'll assume the wiring is going to be in this little box here on the side so as I suspected um, I take this little panel off here and that's going to give me access to the cabling for the rear light cluster and that's where we can apply the um, power cable to the reverse light to give the box and the sensors their power needed to operate okay so we'll get that done now so what i've done now is i've put the car in reverse and i can see which um it makes it easier to see which bulb is your reverse bulb and in this case then we can see where we need to add the uh, power cables okay back in a tick what I've done is wire everything up just so I can make sure there's no problems before I do all the cabling into the front of the car. So as we can see on here, it's working really well. And like I said, it was just the power. Let me just turn that off. And then it was just the power to be rigged up to the um, to the reverse light powering power. You can either do it to the cable, or I've done it to the to to the um, to the socket. Basically, I don't know if you can see that. That was the simplest way to do it for for easy removal in the future, or you can do a hard wire into the cables here which will take you a little bit longer and you will most likely need a multimeter to do that as well anyway so there we go there's all the cables switched into the box and then we've got the power cable and then we've got the the um, dash mounted display meter with the nice long cable that we're going to have to thread through all the car and then that will plug straight into there so we're going to hook this box up we've got a little We've got a little cubby hole here, that'll be ideal for me, so I'm going to use that. Right, so on the Yaris, my daughter's decided she wants the little display meter down here, out the way. So, which is pretty easy as well, because you just need the, you know, she's going to be happy with just the audio warning as well, she said. But, um, yeah, so we're going to put it, somehow attach it here. Um, not so sure how we'll do that yet. Or maybe, maybe down there. But she wants it out of the way, she says anyway. But once you've once you've found the position, then it's a case of feeding all the wires underneath all the plastic trim all the way to the back of the car. And we'll crack on with that now. Hey right, folks, so we've done the cabling all the way to the back. Everything's in place now. And the last job I've got to do, which is a super easy one, so I won't be showing that on video, is just 
finding a home for the sensor transmitter or whatever you could call it the the little display screen that will show you how much distance you are away from the car behind anyway so i hope this was helpful to someone they are pretty simple to do and they are a great benefit especially for new drivers okay so i'll leave the link in the description and we'll see you in the next one peace